this is Tanya Tate and I'm coming at you from WonderCon. We're here in Anaheim. It's WonderCon 2013 and I'm ready to find out what other costumes are going to be here. Who's going to be cosplaying? Going to take a look. There's going to be loads of collectibles. Yes, I've lost my voice so I'm feeling a little bit husky today but I still managed to come out. So I've already spied some over there. I can see a few sexy little costumes going on so I think we need to go and take a look oh wow look at this costume I've just spied you what what's what's your character lady Loki very nice. And have you cosplayed in this before? I've never been to this convention before. Um, this is my first time as Lady Loki, so it's quite fun. Wow, that looks amazing. I like the Basque, I have to say. I'm loving that. Thank you. So did you make any of this yourself? Um, yes, I made the corset, the cape, the sleeves, and um, this bit, and this bit, and this bit. Wow, how many hours did that take? Um, I don't know. It all just kind of blurred together. It was like a labor of love. Yes, indeed. Tell me all about your character. Um, this is a Masquerade Spawn. It's an original concept, kind of an interpretation of Spawn. I think it's very hot, and I like the view, can I just say? <gasps> she keeps looking at my boobs. <laughs> you don't mind, do you? Uh, not with you, not with you. She's okay. So tell me, how did you make this costume? Um, I had a lot of assistance learning how to do this, but uh, basically it's, it's got a lot of wiring back here, as you can tell. Um, some piano wire, plastic chain. It's a lot involved, a lot involved. Very tricky. I can tell it must have took you hours. Yeah, yeah, it really did. Yeah. I like your fingers. I was going to get clothes on mine. Yeah. <laughs> they kept falling off. No, no, these are epoxy that are super, that's super glued on, so... Maybe I should have tried that with mine. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. <laughs> so is this the first time you're showcasing? Uh, yeah, I went to Amazing Arizona Con with Jessica Negri, and um, yeah, this is my second time wearing the costume out. So. Wow. Have yeah. you done any other characters? No, this is my first. I plan on doing uh, Full Metal Alchemist next, uh, Edward Elric, but this is my first. Well, you look amazing in Thank it. you. So do you. Thank you. I hope that you enjoy the show. Oh, I love this. This is the biggest convention I've been to in a long time, since uh, San Diego Comic-Con in like 2006. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, it's even hard to walk around with this big skirt, so. And everyone must keep stopping you yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My poor dad. <laughs> Hello, I've just spied you. What's your costume? Mad Moxie from Borderlands. So you're going to have to explain a little <laughs> bit more for me now. Okay, Borderlands is a RPG shooter. Um, it's a video game by Gearbox Software. So yeah. <laughs> That's why I didn't know. <laughs> video games. Wow, this is an amazing costume. Did you make it yourself? I did, yes. <laughs> and um, how long do you think it took you to make? Um, a little over a week with working full time in school. Wow. What do you do at school? Um, I'm studying literature. <laughs> and very brainy as well, as well as talented. So is this the first time that you cosplayed as this costume? Oh, uh, no, not at all. Uh, I actually really love this character. This is... I think I've been doing this for about two years now as this character, so I've worn it a lot. <laughs> so how did you start cosplaying? I started cosplaying back in 2008 um, just because I loved Halloween, and I was like, oh, well, you can dress up at conventions? Okay, I'll do that, because <laughs> I got too old to trick-or-treat. <laughs> well, actually, this looks sexier than trick or treat then. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Look, I've just found these girls. Ha <laughs> ha, so cute. So tell me, I'm going to ask each of you what your character is. I'm Spider Woman. Wow, <laughs> she's so cute. Did you did you make this or did you buy this? I made it. Yeah, I did. Oh, <laughs> uh, so tell me a little bit more about your character and why you chose this. Um, well, I love Jessica Drew. I think she's like totally underappreciated until now, and yeah, <laughs> and I think she has like such a great story, and she's one of like the more female characters who again are underrated, and she's so strong, just like Carol. <laughs> Well, you, you look, you, you're not underrated from where I'm looking anyway. <laughs> have you cosplayed before? Yes, I have. I've been cosplaying for about five years. 
Oh, wow, that's that's a long time. So how did you get to start? Um, well, I was little. I was I started watching anime, and then I went to my first convention, and I made this makeshift like outfit from an Inuyasha uh, <laughs> show. So, yeah. And how old was you when you made that? Maybe like. 12 or 13. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> um, I'm dressed as Carol Danvers, or AKA Miss Marvel, Captain Marvel. Um, and yeah, I just really love her because she's just such a kick ass woman and she's just out there and like doesn't take shit. Or, oop, and she doesn't take oop. anything from anyone. <laughs> it's very cute. Thank you. You made this. Yes, I did. Wow. I like it. Can I see from behind as well? That's cute. Thank you. <laughs> so is this the first time that you showcase in this one? Uh, no, actually, this is the second time I've worn it to a convention. Last time I wore it at uh, Stan Lee's Kamikaze last year. Oh, yeah. wow. <laughs> You're so cool. Have you done any other characters? Yes, um, I, I cosplay a lot of, recently I've been cosplaying a lot of comic book characters. Um, and What's your favorite? My favorite right now would probably have to be uh, Rogue from the X-Men and Lady Loki from Thor. So. <laughs> nice, they're very good characters as well. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, I'm actually doing a pinup version of Bucky Barnes, the Captain America sidekick. Uh, yeah, and I have like this thing on my back. This on everything. That's cute, I like that. Thank you. <laughs> so did you make this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did. Except for the gloves, but yeah. <laughs> my, my gloves, I bought mine as well. It's okay to cheat sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little. So have you, have you cosplayed this character before? Uh, no, this is my first time. I made it um, three weeks ago, and I'm debuting it today. Wow, well, it looks amazing on you. Thank you. <laughs> Have you done any other characters before? Um, yeah, last year I debuted um, animated series Storm from X-Men and um, Golden Age Catwoman, which is like the purple dress with the cowl and everything. And I think that was it, yeah. <laughs> Wait, let me turn around in my high heel boots because I'm falling over. Coffin. <laughs> into my other costume and do my panel how to get news coverage representing first comic news first comics news get the S in it go right and um, I feel out of breath because my chest is so tight <laughs> I'm going to have a puff me in inhaler <laughs> Lots of information. I hope there's no people perving here because oh, gosh, there's a girl in the car. Hi, I'm Tanya Tate. Um, I have a cosplay blog, just a lot of Tanya. Um, also, my work is syndicated through First Comics News, which is why um, I was so lucky to be invited onto this panel. And whenever else I get spare time, I do a lot of blogging. Um, go to comic conventions and run my YouTube channel and on my blog I, I do everything from reviews, review um, comic books and different figures and a whole lot of stuff. So I'm carrying on on that. I think that was the right spot. Okay, so this is me, Tanya Tate, just the line Tanya. I think um, if you've got a product then you need to start building up the brand. And this is something that I feel that I'm really good at. So I, I always give out one of these. You know, if somebody stops me and wants to take my picture, then I'll be like, okay, there you go. It's all safe for work. They can take a look at it. You know, and build up, it builds up your brand. If you've got a product, or you are a person, or you, you know, if you've got a comic book, then get out there. I, I would say get on Twitter, get on Facebook, get on Instagram, get everything, and you want to start conversing with your audience. So, you know, start talking to them, uh, post normal stuff about normal things as well as, hey, I'll buy this. <laughs> so you want to make it so it's it's very um, it's it's very conversational because that's the, that's the way that I feel that I built up a lot of my fans. I mean, I have nearly 130,000 followers on Twitter, and it's taken a long time for me to get there. And I have a Facebook page as well, so it's it's. Get your branding up there, get out there, talk to your fans, talk to your potential buyers, the people that are potentially going to buy your product. And also as well, um, I keep in touch with other people within the community. So, for example, I'll follow people. <laughs> 
some of these may have noticed that I follow them all today. So it's just, it just sometimes it's just as simple as following somebody, following somebody that you think might be interested in your news, that might be interested in your product. You follow them and something like, hey, this person's following me. Oh, I'll check them out. I'll, I'll look at what they've got to offer. And you know, it could be, you could set like an automated message or something, say, hey, thanks for following me. Or you could like. Um, just that little reach out to them so they know that you are interested in them or you're interested in knowing what they're about as well as just vlogging your own thing as well. Yeah, yeah. Oh, um, Rich yeah. from Reading Cool has just tweeted me said he's watching me now and that's again one of the contacts that I've got. How often does Rich do that? I really have to ask that. <laughs> um, and also, I, I, I'm going to have to plug myself now, um, I've made contact with Geeks Escape um, Geekscape.net again through Twitter, just keeping in touch with them. And I'm going to be on their booth at 5 o'clock, 9.53, if anybody wants to come and talk to me a bit more.